Hi friends, so from today I am planning to upload the videos on data structures. So in today's session we will see the introduction of a data structure that means what is a data structure and what are the different concepts covered in the, this data structures. Right. right. So data structures what is meant by a data structure so the name itself indicates data structure so that means organizing the data in the memory is called a data structure so there are different ways to organize the data in the structure so one example we have seen in the c language that is arrays so array is also a collection of elements that means a collection of memory locations so because in the memory locations we are going to store the values right so in that the structure of data is a sequential that means one after another right so it, it occupies the continuous memory locations so it is a collection of elements in that continuous memory locations so that way the data is organized using the arrays data structure so finally the definition of data structure means organizing the data in the memory location so how many ways we can organize the data in the memory location right now let us see how many types of data structures so there are two types of data structures so what is primitive data structure and another one is non-primitive data structure primitive data structures and non-primitive data structures coming to this primitive data structures we have already seen those data structures see so these primitive data structures are our primitive data types yes so int float character double and pointer right? so all these comes under primitive data structure non-primitive data structure now so these these we have studied in c language this we call them as primitive data types right integer float character double and pointer it's a single memory location which can hold the value only right next Coming to this non-primitive, it's again divided into two types, that is linear data structures and non-linear data structures. Linear and non-linear. So linear means a sequential, that is nothing but a sequential. So non-linear, which is not a sequential, that is, we can call it as a random, random, right? So this is a sequential. This is random. That means in this, all the data will be arranged in sequential manner. Here, the data is arranged in random manner. Now, what are the types of linear data structure? So, first one is arrays, lists. stacks queues these four comes under linear data structure non-linear data structures only two categories are there one is the trees and graphs trees and graphs so again so this we have seen in c language arrays the sequential uh, elements right so now we have to see about the list stack queue trees and graphs so how the data is arranged in list how the data is arranged in stack how the data is organized in queues how the data is organized in trees and similarly graphs so these are the different types of data structures right so in the list there are a number of categories so under this one is single linked list 
डबल लिंकड लिस्ट सर्कुलर लिंकड लिस्ट एलिमेंट लिंक लिस्ट राइट सो हियर इन ट्रीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बाइनरी ट्रीज बाइनरी सर्च ट्रीज एंड देर आर ए नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज राइट सो वी विल डिस्कस इन दो सेशन राइट सो फाइनली द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इंटरेक्शन इज दिस थिंग सो प्रिमिटिव एंड नॉन प्रिमिटिव राइट एंड नाउ there are common operations can be performed on these data structures operations so the major operations which can be done is searching and sorting so we can search an element in the data structure right so in in the in the list we can uh, sort the elements and then see we can insert the new element right insertion similarly deletion we can delete one element next updation so we can update the elements so that means we can replace one element with another element right so these are the common operations to be performed in these data structures so we can search an element in linked list we can sort the elements of a linked list we can insert an element into the linked list we can delete the element from the linked list and we can update the element in the linked list so these are the common operations so i will write here common operations on data structures so this is the common operations on data structures right so we are going to discuss about the list in the list we have to apply all these operations and then we have to see the stacks and we have to apply all these operations we have to cover the queues and all these operations similarly trees and graphs right so hope you you got an idea about these data structures and uh, definitely i am going to upload the videos on all these concepts right right so let us stop here so from the next session we will start with the arrays so our arrays are already seen in our c sections so we will see the advantage and disadvantages of arrays right and then we will move on to the list in the list we have to see all these three so in the coming sessions we will cover all these concepts right so hope you got an idea about this introduction of data structures and uh, if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, please share my sessions with your friends and let them do subscribe to our channel